I'm Blake with Revlock USA, and I'm going to talk about what you need to operate the Revlock. Any standard battery drill will work, as long as it's not an impact or hammer drill. For the truck drivers that have their own battery drill, we recommend this product right here. It's the Mini Torque Multiplier Assembly, and it comes with a half inch adapter, the amplifier, and the one inch socket right here. We have a tension kit. This is available for all the truck drivers that don't have their own battery drill. And what it includes is a right angle DeWalt battery drill. You get a half inch socket adapter, an amplifier, a one inch socket, a charger, and two five amp hour batteries with a ratchet, just in case your battery goes dead. The Revlock 6600 is a 3 8 6600 pound working load device with a minimum brake strength of four to one. The Revlock is 24 and a half inches retracted and 29 and a half inches extracted. To use the Revlock, extend it out all the way. Once extended, simply just draw it in a little bit. This Revlock is ready to go. So you've got the Revlock cooked up. The next step is bringing it under tension. You'll notice on the multiplier tool here, there's little tabs that extrude out on the ends. Those are called the interlock tabs. To fit the interlock tabs onto the back end of the Revlock, simply put the battery drill in the back end and apply a little bit of pressure and it'll drop into place. When you're bringing the Revlock under tension, there's two settings on most battery drills, setting number one and setting number two. Setting number two will draw the Revlock in much faster, but you wanna make sure that you're in setting number one once it gets snug. So I'm in setting number two here, and I'm gonna bring the Revlock under tension. So once we have it snug, we'll flip it into setting number one and bring it all the way into clutch out. After the Revlock unit clutches out, the most important step is identifying the red loading zone. If there's red showing, that means you're good to go. If there's no red showing, there's a potential that the unit might have bottomed out when it clutched out, so you didn't achieve the perfect tension. If you're running six or more Revlock units on one load, one way to be more efficient and fast, leave off the amplifier and just put the socket on the battery drill. You're just gonna to wanna to make sure that you're in setting number two and you just go around each unit and just draw them tight. Once they're tight, you just pop off the socket, put the amplifier back on, make sure the drill is in setting number one, and then we're just gonna clutch out each unit on the load. So once you hit the clutch, you're good to go. Just make sure that the red loading zone is visible on the hex rod. 